Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf and I am here with Rick Monroe. How hey. are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You are busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Try to be. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you have a great voice. You have oh. great talent and I, I've been listening to your new music and I love it. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. So, so let's talk about your new music. What do you got going on? What are you all doing right now? Well, we have a new EP that just came out about a month ago now called mm -hmm. Gypsy Soul. The first single is This Side of You, which seems to be doing pretty well at radio yes. and just uh, kind of keep you know, digging at that and keep moving forward and hopefully just still keep going up. Yeah. And uh, so we've been out promoting that as much as we can. And we play every weekend. We haven't had a weekend off since December. I was going to say, I so, know your schedule seems pretty busy when, you, when yeah. you look your name up and get on your social media there. You're always doing something. Got to keep working. You got to mm -hmm. keep those, you know, got to keep the motion, the thing in motion, in motion. Yes. It's all about inertia. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And being at CMA Fest, there's such an amazing crowd here and, and an energy that's going on and everybody just wants to meet everyone and see as many shows as they can. Now, are you performing here at CMA Fest? We actually already performed you yesterday. You already did. Yeah, performed we performed yesterday. at the Budweiser uh, Forever Country stage, which, which was actually pretty funny because okay. cause that was mainly like a heritage artist stage. Right. And I think that they just, CMA just wanted to give us a, a stage. Uh -huh. and that was the only opening they had. So we come out. And like the, for the first couple songs, you know, everybody's there in the rocking chairs going, <laughs> going, man, what is this? And then when they started going, oh, okay, okay, this is good. Okay. And then we finally, you know, so we, so we got put in a, a little bit of an awkward situation, but we figured it out. But you made the most of it and yes. you made those people on the rockers rock out, right? Yes, we did. we I got mean, them to stand up, which was good. See? So. That's yeah. awesome. That was funny, but it was great, and I love. I mean, the best thing is CMA has really done an awesome mm -hmm. job of. I mean, everything they do, the crews yes. they put together, yes. everything is so well organized. Right. It's amazing. I feel like this year was probably the best CMA fest I've ever been to, as far as the organization and the things that they have for all the fans. And um, I mean, they're they're constantly evolving, and I know that this year they had like an app you know, for people's right. phones, and they just made it a lot easier for fans to be involved with the yep. artists this year, I and think. The, and for the artists, they've been amazing. You know, they, right. they definitely make you feel you know, as comfortable as you possibly can and That's getting great. you through everything, getting you to stuff. And so, right. And so, I mean, props to, uh, and the cool thing, I don't know if you saw the um, CMA Foundation, they have letters from kids. I did not know this. So when we get our packs, I got a couple letters from, from kids Oh. That were, you know, thanking the CMA Foundation for what they got from there, and it's it's pretty. Oh, that's it's pretty amazing. Really, really yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's really sweet. Good job, CMA. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And as an artist, to to get that letter and to yeah. read that, I mean, were you, you weren't expecting anything oh, like not that. Oh, no, no. I just so. saw like a couple envelopes, and I'm like, oh, what is this? And I, and I went through it. And I was like, whoa. I was pretty. I actually posted it right away because I was like, this is pretty humbling and, and awesome. Oh. See, that's cool. And I haven't gotten to be on social media the, at all the last few days because we've been running around and so busy and my phone doesn't have a good network. And ever, <laughs> there's so many thousands of people here yeah. that I think the networks are all just so jam packed. It so I just, down. I just don't even bother. I'm like, I'll catch up on all my social media after CMA Fest. But so what do you have planned for the rest of the day? I know you're doing interviews and, and stuff and you um, know, you've been doing all kinds of shows everywhere. So yeah, we're doing interviews and we're ending the day at Jesus Calling at their booth. I'm going to do a signing and some CD giveaways and oh, good. scary. And here's the thing. I can walk out in front of 10, 20,000 people. Not a problem. I can right. I can MC a show. I can play a show. I can do all that without any fear whatsoever. I hate reading out loud. Like, that oh, freaks me out yeah. more than anything. So, and of course, they want me to read one of the Jesus Calling, you know, daily, oh. you know. So that's... I'm actually more afraid of that than anything else I've done. <laughs> you know what? You could do it. I talk to a camera all day long, and I can I can do my interviews too. And the other night, I had to announce an artist, and I was trembling on that stage. And I was like, I I can't do this. I can't. And they're like, Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I wanted to cry. I wanted to vomit. So I know, but that just means you care. Yeah, it's, it's funny because like public speaking doesn't weird me out, but actually having to read, read out yes. loud. Is like yeah. I have a phobia. I didn't that. like that either. When the teacher would call call on you to read that passage in a book and go around the class, I always dreaded it when it was coming to yeah. me. I did not ever want to be so, next. <laughs> hopefully they won't be. Fil I'm sure they'll be filming it live. So hopefully you'll I'll, do good. And if not, it'll make for good video. It will. It will. Just like them putting you on that stage, right? Because yeah. what what you're going to remember that performance yeah. forever. Yeah. Like this CMA performance is going to stand out above the rest. I mean, and you know, it's yeah. just that's pretty awesome to me. Well, and the, and the coolest thing is you're standing on stage, especially where that stage was is you're looking right up at the Batman building and you can see like just uh, the view alone from there I'm just sitting there thinking wow this is it's a beautiful day yeah. Saturday you know it's clear sky 
really yeah, it's just like it's pretty amazing. Pretty awesome, awesome. Well, is there anything else you want to tell fans? Um, I guess the biggest thing is just um, definitely, you know, it's word of mouth is the best thing for us, and so we can use as much of that as possible. So if they if they like the EP, tell everybody. If you if you download something, tell everybody. We have it yeah. right here. I'm sorry, there I should have been holding it up already. Yeah, Gypsy Soul, look at that. It's amazing, oh, and I love the back photo, oh, by the thanks. way. Thanks. But I love the rings. I love that ring. Who yeah. made that for you? This is Speakeasy Original. These are some buddies of mine out of California. And um, one day he just saw my logo. He's like, hey, man, send me your logo. Right. So I sent that, and this just showed up in the mail. We were playing, uh, I think we were playing in Detroit. And also, hey, there's a, a box for you. I go to production office, and that came. When we found out I was going to name the EP Gypsy Soul, he's like, hey, man, send, give, give me a month. And I'm like, all right. And so then he knocked that out. So can I, I love that ring. I, I don't know. You can, they make, they, I mean, they, they make I love it special it. for me, but you, they, they have, now they have the cast. So if you want one, you can order one. Oh my God, I'm gonna tell them you sent me. Yeah, please do. Oh yeah, my no. gosh, okay, I really do. I want their information. Speak easier. I love, see, I, I have all I right. have these two rings. That's all I have. Yeah. I need more, look, and that is beautiful. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, looks like I'm gonna be contacting a jewelry company and hopefully soon you guys will see me rocking some bling yeah. on this camera. They're pretty awesome. And then uh, I guess just um, keep hitting us up. I, I run our, our social media, it's done. Anybody else? It. Well, because we're on the road a lot. There's yeah. a lot of downtime. Yeah. There's okay. a lot of time for me to All sit right. around and go, well, we got, you know, it's, yeah. I can only watch so many Netflix shows, right? <laughs> you know, there's a point where you got to do something. I read right. and then I do social media. So yes. anytime people hit us up, I try to get back to them. Good. Try to stay engaged and we appreciate everybody, like I said, spreading the word. Awesome. Well, you guys heard him. Check him out. Make sure you grab his CD or his EP, Gypsy Soul. And until next time, stay tuned for more, guys. See ya.